Hey guys, so welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about our sell ticket add on. Previously, I showed you how you can add various type of tickets from the front end and the, from the back end side using event submission form. And today, I'm going to show you how you can add tickets via WooCommerce, fully functional and fully fledged e commerce website. So, we are using that to handle the order and the card and the checkout process for our sell ticket. So, we can even add a ticket from the WooCommerce product section for an event. So for that we need to go to products then add new and in here we have our product details first let's fill this out then i'll show you how to add the ticket so then below we have our product data so this is pretty much standard woocommerce interface so on the product data we have a drop down if we click this, we will see our various WooCommerce product types such as simple, grouped, external, affiliate, and variable. And then lastly, we have our event ticket. So if we click this, we will have the ticket details from or the ticket submission from over here. So firstly, we have regular price, we have sale price. These two are courtesy to WooCommerce and we can even schedule the sale price. Then we have our events. So from here we can choose which event we're going to bind this ticket to. I'll show you in a moment. And then we will see the ticket type, paid, free and donation, show ticket description on single details page, fee structure, minimum tickets, maximum tickets, show remaining tickets, start date, start time, end date, end time. So let's fill these details out very quickly. So this event I have newly created and it doesn't have any tickets binded to it. Let me show you. Here, as you can see, this event doesn't have any tickets available as of now. So I'm selecting this event and then I'm selecting the ticket type to paid. Show ticket description, sure. Pay by at Hindi, minimum tickets one, let this blank, so remaining spot, yes. Sell start date, set it to today, end time, set it to 30th. And now we are ready to publish this product, but you can add like product image, product tags, and product category, but I'm leaving them as blank for this demonstration. So let's hit publish. So we have our success message over here. So let's go ahead and reload this event page. And we have our ticket information. As we have seen before, when we added tickets from the event submission page, we have the same structure over here. We have our ticket information. We have our ticket details, our name, value, and description, when the sales end. And then we have our remaining tickets as zero since we didn't set the stock from the WooCommerce product page so so let's go ahead and do that so let's go to inventory in stock let's click on stock quantity let's set it to 100 and let's click on update now we are ready to reload this page and we have updated our stock count for this ticket to 100, right? We can buy this ticket from here. In this way, we can manage or adjust the stocks for this ticket from WooCommerce platform. So in here, we have the inventory. We can even set SQ and stuff for that. And you can like play around with these options as well. So if we select and ticket count and click on order now. So as you can see, it's pretty much the standard checkout procedure after that we're going to click on proceed to checkout from this card page and we will have to fill out our billing details our registration details for this ticket so after filling out these details if we click place order we will successfully purchase this ticket for this event so this is how simply you add a ticket from woocommerce product section there's three way to add tickets to an event once from event submission from at back end once at front end Another one is from WooCommerce product section. So adding tickets from this product section has some distinct advantages such as the sale price, you can schedule it and you can even use this um, WooCommerce specific data. Uh, inventory management is pretty similar. You can manage all the product inventory from one section, right? So use whatever suits you. Let us know in the comment how you like it. And that's pretty much wraps up this video. If you're enjoying this kind of straight to the content works and guides, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.